We have mega spraying over Oregon, Washington, Nevada, Idaho, everywhere. Mexico, Gulf of Mexico, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, all the way up the Ohio Valley, all the way up into the Northeast. We also have a new bunker fuel operation just one day after there was none. They're back. So apparently the chemtrail pilots and the bunker fuel ships do not take Christmas off. They must have an important operation out here in the Pacific. And let me show you some of the spraying operations up a little closer here. We're going to get into the worldview map, but this just shows the extent of the aircraft creating the fake clouds over Washington, Oregon, Idaho, parts of Montana, British Columbia, Alberta. So you just got tons of aerosols gridding the sky, creating a blanket, trapping the heat in. It was 70 degrees in Missouri today. It was warm. My wife and I were outside with just t-shirts on. I mean, it was like a spring day. So there's one area. I got another area. Here's down southern Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama. I mean, everybody's getting waxed right here. Indiana, Ohio. So the whole United States is under a man-made cloud deck. So we can see this whole storm system all the way from the Gulf. Of, it actually goes out into the Pacific Ocean, all the way across Texas, Mexico, all the way up and all the way to the Atlantic. Then the secondary operation is all over the Northwest. Uh, and then you got tons up here in Quebec, all over Canada, all man-made. You know, if all these aircraft went up here, let's take a look what's in the aircraft fuel. This comes right from the aviation department, the aluminum and the JP8 biodiesel that they're running, 9,360 parts per billion of aluminum. You got 38 parts per billion of barium, 31,120 parts of calcium. You got 18 chromium, six copper, 1,144 iron, 10 parts per billion of lead, tons of magnesium, 5,840. Wonder why the fires burn hotter right there. You got manganese, nickel, niobium, potassium, scandium, selenium, strontium, sulfur, large amounts of sulfur, tin, titanium, vandium, and zirconium. That's what's in the jet fuel. Now you also got the drones with the sprayers. You got the, you know, some of the commercial aircraft, the military F aircraft that are retrofitted with the sprayers. You've seen them in the intro. We're going to start out here in the Pacific because yesterday there was, there was no bunker fuel operations. The day before there was bunker fuel operations and it split the jet stream. Well, they're back out here again. All these long white lines that kind of billow out from a point. These are all the ships out here that are burning what's called bunker fuel. It's the most toxic emissions on the planet. Here's a good Good one right here stands out. You see the boats like right in here. I think it's out there, Mark. Just dumping this stuff out and it's affecting the jet streams. We can put an enhancement on here and you can really see the extent of it. How many is out here? Just 13 of these ships put off more emissions than every single car on the planet. In fact, when you go to the Earth Knoll, we take off this... Uh, you can go here to the earth knoll and you can hit the chemicals and you can go down to the sulfur this is the sulfur at let me take the winds off and what you're gonna see is all these long straight lines these long straight lines are these shipping lanes the ships are dumping so much sulfur out here that it's leaving like highway marks you can see tons of lines going from the Hawaiian Islands over to the West Coast, from the West Coast on up to Alaska and on over to the Kamchatka Peninsula. I mean, they're everywhere. 
down from the Philippines up to Japan. I mean, they're just everywhere. That's how, you know, toxic this stuff is. You, you don't see it when they're right next to the shore because they run on cleaner fuel. But once they get out of sight, they crank these babies on. They use it for multi things. But they definitely use it for weather control. What is this? Is that always there? Is that some kind of island? What is that? Oh, let me go back a day. Oh, I guess that's always there. I never noticed that before. Where are we at? Is that straight out off Hawaii? Must be a real shallow spot. Look, wow, I've never seen all these little blue spots out here. Maybe we got a plasma ball or something out here. Some kind of... Hey, thanks out there, Susan. Let me put the fire layer on just for the heck of it, just so I can, if we see something odd out here. We're finding hot spots out in the ocean. Normally where the underground volcanoes are, some kind of offshore oil rig. But it's always something to uh, kind of watch. So really, hardly any fires going on. We've seen all the aerosols being deployed over Washington. It's you know, there's so much cloud cover out here, but they're man-made clouds. You got a weird little single operation, but you can see, you know, all the way out here. We can go down here in the Bajas, and we can see the aerosols are being deployed all the way down here. What they're doing, they're they're pulling the atmospheric river up with the aerosols. They're, they're putting these nanoparticulates into the sky. And then it's easier to control them with something easy like an X-Rat. So we got aerosols going all the way through Mexico, through Texas, up into Oklahoma, up into Kansas. Then you got the ground-based generators that are pumping out the moisture. See, these are all fake clouds. You can see real clouds, the white puffy clouds. That's the real clouds. Like, you got a few real clouds. Real clouds here. Man-made clouds here. So, heavy spray down here, you know, around Corpus Christi. So, you got man-made cloud, real clouds. Man-made clouds, just grids all over the place. And this is just a massive spraying operation. It goes all the way up through all the different states. Completely waxed out here. Hey, thanks out there, Noble. Hey, happy birthday. Happy. That's cool, birthday and a Christmas. Double. So uh, just mass spraying operation all over. Up to the Ohio Valley, all the way up into New York, all the way up into Canada, into Ontario. So it looks like Indiana is clear. Illinois is clear. Illinois. But Iowa's getting hit. Missouri's getting hit. We can't really see in some of these places because the, the man-made clouds have already spread out. See the fires have actually dwindled down a little bit. You know, they're flooding down here in Argentina, pulling the atmospheric river up. We have a new weird operation. Thanks everybody out there who helps support us, help keeps this thing going. Not easy trying to go against the mainstream, that's for sure. 